I know I'm a little late on this, but better late than never. Today, I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 announcement back in, you know, February 2013. Let's get to it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Levon Kaysen back at it again with another YouTube video and it's been pretty much 10 years since the PlayStation 4 was announced. Now let's talk about a little bit what was going on before the PlayStation 4 was announced. Um, and I was 13, by the way, if anyone's wondering. PlayStation 4, before it was announced, pretty much, you know, Wii U had came out. And everybody in the gaming community was kind of debating on, was it a real next generation system? Was it a last generation system? Like, there were people in the gaming community making their videos on whether or not, you know, graphical capability-wise... Whether or not it was last gen or next gen, but the real answer turns out to be it was better than last gen, but not as good as the PlayStation 4. You know, its GPU was better, but the CPU was kind of a little bit, you know, rough. You know, it was a bit, you know, below PS3 and 360 level. And also, too, the Wii U was using PowerPC architecture. Now, let's get on to the PlayStation 4 announcement based on for what I remember of it. I do remember that they announced the fact that the PlayStation 4 was using x86 architecture. Sony pretty much decided to, you know, put this time with the PS4 to listen to developers. So, Sony decided to give the PlayStation 4 that x86 architecture. And also, I do definitely remember, you know, an Unreal Engine 4 showcase happening on that PlayStation 4, sh you know, show or whatever it was called at the time. You know, it was the, I think it was one of the first demos of Unreal Engine 4 being showcased for a game console at the time, you know, showcasing that it was a leap from the PS3 and Xbox 360, you know, a legitimate leap. And also, one of the features that I remember definitively, you know, definitely about the PS4 when it was announced was that share button. The fact that you could share gameplay on a console, that was a big deal. A huge deal. Especially at that time when I was 13, you know, I was kind of starting YouTube a little bit. Back then, I didn't really have a capture card, so I was thinking like, man, you know, having a console that could record gameplay for you. Yeah, sure, it may not be the greatest quality of all time, but the fact that it can do it was awesome. And at that time, I thought a feature like that was next generation. Nothing more, nothing less. That is what I thought at that time. It was next generation, man. None more, none less. You know, I thought the Wii U gamepad, you know, the fact that you can play, you know, a console game on the gamepad, you know, I thought that was next gen. So, yeah, that was an amazing feature to announce at that show. At the time, it, it was amazing. So, after all that, people were impressed. People were. People were impressed the fact that we were able to get a true next generation leap because the console that came out, you know, a couple months ago at the time, which was the Wii U, you know, a lot of people were debating, you know, and eh, this ain't really next gen, you know, a lot of the ports were a bit rough at the time, you know, Darksiders 2, Batman Arkham City, Armored Edition, you know, that performed rough, you know, especially when you... At first, you know, the first level, I, you find a couple guys, you know, the frame rate goes all the way down. And, you know, when you see stuff like that, it makes you think maybe the Wii U was just a last generation system. Maybe it just is. None more, none less. Now, I don't think that it was a generation system, but I'm just talking about, you know, how people saw the Wii U at that time when it comes to playing third party games. You know, that's what I'm pretty much talking about. 
You know, when it comes to time and all that stuff, Wii U was 8th generation. Wii U was more powerful than the PS3 and 360, but it wasn't as powerful as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, like I said. That conference was, you know, it was the, the start of Sony's big comeback. It was, because prior to this, you know, the second half of the PS3's life was pretty good, but the first half of the PS3's life was rough. And Sony at that point, you know, for those last PS3 years, I think they were thinking like, we have got to make a good first impression on this PS4 when it comes to getting these developers into it and getting these consumers into our PlayStation 4 and stuff like that. You know, they had to make that good, good first impression. They had to. But I didn't get my PlayStation 4 until 2015. And that's when, you know, Mortal Kombat 10 and Batman Arkham Knight came out. And those games were pretty much, you know, current gen only at that point. I almost burped there. You know, it was only on Xbox One. It was only on the PlayStation 4. And unfortunately, it didn't come out on that Wii U. Unfortunately. But anyways, I've been rambling long enough. What are you guys' thoughts on the PlayStation 4 reveal announcement? You know, it's been past 10 years at this point. What was your guys' thoughts when it was happening? Let me know in the comment section below of this video. Hope you guys have a good day and peace. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications. So that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.